The court has requested me to inform you that no further action will be taken upon the interlocutory appeal filed in the above captioned matter until a supplemental notice of interlocutory appeal is filed in compliance with Supreme Court. What is going on guys, Lottery Socks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Today we have a ton of stuff to go over the AMC, GameStop, the Spy, something that happened with Evergrande, crypto and overall i'm not here to waste anybody's time i'm going to update you on every single thing that there is to go over before we get into the weekend so make sure to watch all the way through hit the like button on the video it's free it helps me out and it's also going to show more people this video who own amc also guys hit the subscribe button get us to 16,000 subscribers by the time this video is over without further ado let's get into it but basically the appeal that just happened on the conversion reverse split judge Jern basically says listen i'm not dealing with any of this there's no further action to be taken on this and it has to be taken over to supreme court so good luck next up the settlement for seven and a half shares for every amc that you own that's going through has to be paid out by short sellers which is an amazing thing to see shorts of amc and ape have to pay for the share settlement approved by the delaware chancery court this is why they were fighting to prevent the reverse split conversion settlement and share issuance number three boom bang bow we are going to flash through everything OCC is putting out memos on the planned stock settlement award and upcoming changes to options as well now some brokers are sending clients misleading or incorrect notices now many of you guys are going to get notices that are incorrect so don't pay attention to them the OCC is putting out something in the stock distribution of approximately 0.1333333 AMC class a common shares per every AMC share held with cash paid in lieu of fractional AMC shares. The record date is August 24th, yada, yada, yada. This is the correct number to pay attention to. So any report that is sent to you otherwise is definitely wrong. Now, this is interesting as well. Yesterday, we discovered a capital advisor. Trulo Capital Advisors held a 134 million share put position in AMC. This is a little interesting because it's a tiny firm with four employees. And when we look at the SEC filing for this hedge fund, this is the first time they have ever reported any holdings. They have 44 holdings total and the the AMC put position accounts for more than one third of all the total holdings, which has a notional value of $519 million. This is based in Puerto Rico and is a hedge fund and Exodus Capital Management is listed as a manager reporting for them. The people who run Exodus Point are former employees of Millennium, the firm that owns 49 million ape shares, and all three firms have operations in Puerto Rico. In fact, they seem to be the biggest people there. So all of a sudden, this hedge fund that has never had any holdings before and only has four employees at least on paper just said here's our positions and over one third of that is puts on amc worth about 134 million but not only that the listing manager for this hedge fund is Exodus Point, which the people who are running that listing management hedge fund recently worked for Millennium, which owns 49 million ape shares. And they all have operations in Puerto Rico, but not only that, they are the biggest in Puerto Rico. So what do you guys think about this in the comments down below? A little odd. Now, before we move on, a quick touch on the Ortex numbers, 28.34% short interest on AMC utilization at 84.6%. And the shares on loan all-time high, 211 million free float on loan, 40.87 so almost 41% and the cost bar average now sitting over 1,000 1.06k so short sellers are paying 10 times their position just to borrow shares against AMC short interest for ape 8.12% utilization still maxed out which is an extremely important piece to pay attention to and the cost borrow not being reported once again for ape on ortex now this is the 39th straight day we are sitting on the threshold securities list and stay because we are about to get into something with Ken Griffin and then the charts and then some additional stuff with Evergrande after after the market closed today on Friday, it may be 40 days on the threshold securities list before we start next week, which is going to be a very, very important week because the conversion and reverse split is going to go through next week, as well as potentially the settlement. I got to recheck the dates. I know a date is the week after on the 28th or so, but 39 straight days is absolutely insane to be on the threshold securities list. Now, an affiliate of Ken Griffin Citadel has acquired roughly $485 million in Yellow Corp debt previously owned by Apollo Global Management. They turned down the Citadel deal. And and a lawyer said last week that is considering alternative bankruptcy loans may hedge fund MFN Partners LP, the company's largest shareholder and rival trucking company, Estates Express Lines. Basically, to dip from a liquidation phase, Ken Griffin said, listen, I got you with a loan. But this company said, listen, we can get the loan for a little bit cheaper from a few other different entities. So we're definitely going to turn down this loan. I just thought this was something interesting to pay attention to. And toss it into the video because we will be talking a little bit more on that later. Touching on AMC's chart real quick, trading at $4.05 
cents, basically trading sideways on the day. And this looks like something that we are trading right now. Got this gap down and we are trading up a little bit higher, higher, getting a little bit of a red day. Now, the only reason this would play out before playing out the rest of this is because the conversion date has a deadline. There was no deadline through this part of the cycle. So they may have flashed it down even further and skipped this segment of the cycle. And now AMC just may be climbing. Now, this doesn't have to be the case, but it looks like something we could see. I don't want you to hold it to it, but there is more buy volume on these green days, which is a good thing for AMC. However, it did come up to major resistance. There is now a gap fill up to $4.90. And this is something that the cycles are showing on AMC shows that it could sell off even further. However, this is not bringing the catalyst into play. This is just based off of the cycles showing AMC would sell to about early September, September 7th or so. GameStop trading at $18.47 up 0.49% on the day. GameStop is a buy in my opinion. It came down almost to the bottom of the cycle that I said. I said it was a buy at $18.11 and it went down to $18.14. I think GameStop is a buy today. I'm trying to add more to my GameStop position, but of course it could definitely go lower, especially with what's happening with Evergrande, the SPY, etc, etc. But it did come down this 12% that we expected came down and hit this trend line. So you guys let me know in the comments down below, did you buy more GameStop? Now Evergrande, one of China's real estate giants just filed for chapter 15 bankruptcy. Meanwhile, China's HY real estate index is down a massive 82% in just over two years. This puts the index back down to 2008 levels, all while China just unexpectedly cut interest rates. Is China on the brink of a credit event? You guys let me know in the comments down below. Now, before we get into the S&P 500 and crypto to close out the video, guys, make sure to pop in the discord. The link is right under the video. You will not regret it. It's literally a dollar a month. You will not notice it come out, especially with the education and the benefits that you get out of there talking with everybody's stocks all day long and what's currently happening with the market, what's currently happening with AMC GameStop on the daily. Plus, I'm in there on the daily so you can talk with me. You can request videos. We also have options trading alerts in there and more all for a dollar a month. So get in the discord. There's no reason not to get in there. Also, get up to 16 free stocks, each valued up to $2,000 per stock, a potentially free Tesla or Google stock for just signing up, making a deposit of a penny or more into your Moomoo account. That link is under the description and pinned in the top of comments down below. Guys, go do it. It takes two minutes out of your day. Watch this video through, sign up for Discord, sign up for Moomoo, and the whole thing will take about 10 minutes out of your day. And you will get a ton of benefits as well as all of the updates out of this video. Let's get back to it. S&P 500 finally. And I'm sorry I didn't get an upload up yesterday. I was in Rhode Island on a completely long day trip. I was driving, so I had no time to update anybody. Hopped in Discord here and there. Down 0.32% on the day, trading at 434.88 on the SPY. It came down. Now there is another gap up to about $435.80 on the SPY. It bounced off of this trend line. SPY is getting a little bit of a relief bounce, but based off of Evergrande and crypto, SPY is not looking good. And it looks like it is going to sell off even further, coming down to that 426 correction level we talked about plus that gap fell down to 423.17 or so 423 on the spy is definitely still viable that definitely has a lot of potential to fill over the next couple of weeks so just keep that in mind as well if we got a bounce i would watch a rejection on this trend line right around 440 or 439.50 and then if we break above that i would watch for a rejection on 444 for the spy before coming back down and breaking below these levels and below this trend line now i do expect the spy to sell off even further and that is because of of crypto. A lot of times we correlate crypto to the equities market. If crypto sells off, that is a good confirmation that the SPY and other stocks and plays are going to sell off. You can see Bitcoin was making higher highs and higher lows and now broke under 28,000 coming down to 26,248 looking like it wants to break even lower. It's testing the support level, but it broke the higher high and higher low trend line on Bitcoin. So just keep that in mind. Plus there was a lot of red volume on this sell day. Seeing Bitcoin drop shows that the SPY may fall even further further. Now, why did this happen? First of all, we are unable to confirm reports that SpaceX sold $373 million worth of Bitcoin, but this is the rumor on the street. The report by Wall Street Journal is unclear and states SpaceX wrote down the value of Bitcoin it owns and by a total of $337 million last year and in 2021 has sold the cryptocurrency. As of now, there is no other evidence to confirm the report. So basically, SpaceX owned $373 million worth more of Bitcoin two years ago since their newest report so they didn't just sell yesterday they didn't sell the day before
before. And this is the updated thing that's happening with Bitcoin that is scaring people off, or at least that's what they want you to think. Now, it is definitely scaring people off as 1.2 billion in assets liquidated from the cryptocurrency market within the past 24 hours. And finally, Judge Grant's SEC approval to file an appeal in the Ripple XRP case, which is a scary thing for XRP. But I do hope XRP does win this case. Do you guys let me know in the comments down below, did you sell your crypto? Are you buying more on these dips? And what do you think about Evergrande and forcing funds to liquidate and cover on AMC and GameStop and other meme plays? Overall, guys, that is what I got for you for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching or found value out of the video. Make sure to enjoy your weekend, have post notifications on. And if you want to talk with me over the weekend, join the Discord down under the video. I love you all. Lottery Socks out.